The biggest difference between me starting in the graduate school four years ago and now is obviously that I've aged four years, but also I've learned a lot during this time. You start from being quite inexperienced in research to becoming really an independent researcher. I do medical visualization and the end goal of this is to help the patients in the end. So we're working on improving a certain surgical procedure with the, the potential outcome of really improving a surgical outcome for the patients and this is what really motivates me. I don't honestly care so much about getting a degree as much as I care about improving patient lives. So this is my, my main drive and I think it's important to know what your drive is getting started with a PhD initially already. So one thing about working with Anna is that she's always very precise. When I think something is good enough and that it works, she will find reasons why it cannot work yet. So she always, uh, in a nice, critical way, helps me find the flaws in my current work and then we can fix them together. Sometimes doing a PhD can be pretty frustrating, so I, I try to also help in understanding that this is part of the process and that we can get over this and then also help them develop into an independent researcher. They are the main uh, players on the solution, but uh, I'm trying to help in, on this and this I like a lot. When I started my PhD, my presentation skills were not that good. So I would have a presentation to give at a conference and then at some point I'd get so nervous that you feel your voice is kind of traveling back into your throat. You, you feel all tense and nervous. So for this reason, I took a course with the graduate school and it was called the Art of Presenting Science. And in this, I really learned to be comfortable with presenting my work. Uh, after my PhD, I plan to pursue a career in academia. So I'm hoping to do more research and to further develop my skills. And I plan to do this abroad, actually. I accepted a researcher position in Norway, in Bergen to be specific. They have a very uh, unique collaboration also with the academic hospital there. And they're really at the heart of medical visualization research, I would say. So they're one of the leading groups in it. And this is why it's really attractive for me to move there and work in this group.